Pop quiz for you here today. If you're on a quadcopter with a four cell battery like this one, this 850, and you decide that you need to upgrade to a 2600 like this, is that gonna be okay on your quad? Will your motors explode? Do you need to upgrade your ESCs? The answer is no. They're both four cell batteries. <laughs> Since I released this video with these 3200 KV motors in my LS210 frame, several people have asked me about uh, if they need to upgrade their ESCs. Well, the answer really doesn't have anything to do with your ESCs. It has more to do with your motors. Here's a few motors that I have, ranging from these smaller ones on up to my bigger ones with the most amp draw. Now, if you're using small ones like these 1804 RCXs or 1806s, or even these Sunny Skies, most of your 12 amp ESCs are gonna run, run it just fine. Here's a uh, Afro 12 amp ESC, and this has plenty of juice to push these uh, lower, lower ones here. Now, if you have something like this uh, 2100 KV, 2207 uh, Sunny Sky, this is really gonna draw the amps. And you gotta remember, the ESCs don't push uh, amps to your motor. The motor says, give me more amps, I need more, and the ESC fulfills that need. Now, whether or not it can actually fulfill the need or not depends on how big the, how big the ESCs are. Now, if, this, if these motors were to draw, if these ones here were to draw 15 amps, a 12 amp ESC can handle that for a short amount of time, but if it does it too long, it will burn up. One way to avoid burning up a 12 amp ESC is to move up to a larger one, like a 20 amp. And in this case, this is a little B20 amp. Another option you have is to move up to something like this 30 amp. This is a 30 amp little B ESC. Now you gotta remember that uh, ESCs do not push amps into the motors. The motors ask for more amps and the ESCs give those motors the amps that they want. And so, if you, uh, the only time you really need to upgrade your ESC is if you're using a motor that is rated to draw more amps than what the ESC can output. Now just because these are 20 and 30 amps doesn't mean that they can't output more. They can, but this is what they can safely output continuously. In the case of this LS210 with these 3200 KV motors, if you were to run something like these magic 12 amp ESCs that used to be real popular on uh, these motors, these motors are going to ask for way more than 12 amps and you will see the, the ESC burst into flames until you unplug it and then it will stop hopefully. So what you could do is you could step up to something like this 20 amp and a 20 amp would probably be okay most of the time but again this motors with these high KV are going to draw more amps and so a, a, safe mo a safe one to get for this would be the 30 amp ESC. Now actually on here I actually have 30 amp little b escs on here and they push these motors uh, very nicely something else that will cause your amp draw to increase is increasing the size of your propellers these are 5 by 45 um, propellers and these are kind of the standard size that most people have been using now this one is a 5 by 46 and this one is a bull nose prop this one because it has more meat becomes harder for the motors to spin because it's a little bit heavier. And so if it's harder for the motor to spin, it's, the motor's gonna ask for a little bit more amps to spin this than it would, you know, this one here because it's a little bit lighter and a little bit smaller. Now if you step up to something like this six inch prop, the six inch prop is gonna draw even more amps than a five inch prop because now we're talking about a prop that's longer and also, again, harder for the motor to spin. So the harder the, harder the propeller is to spin, the more amps it's gonna draw. Another step up is this 5045 three blade prop. This will also increase your amp draw of your motors. Your motors wanna reach up to that 2300 KV or whatever their KV rating is. And to do that, they're gonna has, have to ask for more and more amps, especially if you start pushing the limit with these um, bigger propellers like this. And so in that case, your motors could start having to draw more than the 15 or 12 amps, and you might have to step up to something like the 20 or the 30 amp ESC. When it comes to these smaller size propellers, the nice thing for the motors is the smaller ones are a lot easier to spin. It's so like these 1306 motors and 1806 motors spinning these little three and a half inch or three inch props on here would have no problem just because they're so small. And the amp draw on these is going to be relatively low because there's not a lot up here to have to spin around. These could easily be flown on probably an eight, eight amp ESC or maybe even a six amp ESC just because they're so easy for these motors to draw and the motors don't have to draw a lot of amps to spin these propellers. 
Back to my original question. If you have an 850 battery like this and you upgrade to a 2600 battery like this, do you need to upgrade your ESCs or your motor? No, they don't, these batteries don't have anything to do with how much, uh, how much juice your motors or your ESCs can handle. Everything comes back down to the motors and how hard it is for the motors to spin the propellers that are on them. The more weight that's on here, or the more meat that the pro propellers have, whether they're bullnose or not, every little bit of weight makes it harder for the motor to spin around, which in, which in turn makes it want to draw more voltage from your, amp, uh, from your ESCs, which makes your ESCs need to draw more juice out of your battery to feed the power to the motor so it can continue to spin. So is there any disadvantage of running a 20 amp ESC or a 30 amp ESC over a 12 amp? The answer is no. It really all depends on your motors and how much amperage that they're trying to draw. Now, can, can you take an 1806 motor and run 30 amp ESCs? Yes. 20 amp ESCs? Yes. 12 amp ESCs? Yes, you can do it any of the three you want. What's the disadvantage of using this one? Well, of course its size is a little bit bigger, so you don't really want to have too much uh, too much more weight on on a on your quad than you have to have so you can move something to like this 20 amp esc or even something smaller or like a 16 or a 12 amp esc the only advantage of having a 20 amp is that you might be able to pull it off and use it on a different quad later and it also gives you the opportunity to uh, upgrade your motors at a later time and not have to upgrade your escs but usually uh, if the mode, if the 12 amp and the 16 and the 20 are all the same weight, there's really no disadvantage to up to uh, installing the 20 amp ESC. Most motor companies will release a, a diagram showing how many amps each of the motors draw at different voltages and different size propellers. First thing to do, look for that, then find the ESC that matches. If you haven't noticed, my personal favorites have been these uh, little B ESCs. These have kind of taken over on my uh, quads on, my, on all my recent builds. Anyway, you will see some of these coming up in some later builds, just like there was on this LS210 with the 3200 KV motors. Anyway, if you have any questions about uh, ESCs or Opto ESCs, please leave them in the comments and I'll try to help you out as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching.